Right now, this dilapidated business in Speedway looks like any other building in any town in America that's fallen into disrepair. But this isn't just any building. It's linked to one of Indiana's most notorious murder cases that's gone unsolved now for 45 years. Thanks for joining us tonight at 11 o'clock. I'm Jenny Renovich in for Scott Swan. Tonight, our Logan Gay is digging into new plans to tear down this former burger chef, and she's talking to the people still reeling from that infamous night back in 1978. It's been 45 years since four Burger Chef employees were murdered. The case is still open, and now the place where they worked is about to be demolished. For more than four decades, the now empty former Burger Chef building has remained in Speedway as a daily reminder of the tragic events that happened here. On November 17th, 1978, four employees, 20-year-old Jane Freet, 16-year-old Daniel Davis, Mark Flemons and 18 year old Ruth Ellen Shelton disappeared. Their bodies were found two days later in Johnson County. My mother, she she never did get over it, of course. But before the building was surrounded by this metal fence and the doors were ripped off the hinges, Ruth's sister Teresa Jeffrey says it was just an average job. Her sister worked in an order to buy normal things all teenage girls loved to get. She had a sense of humor. She enjoyed working at Dunkin Donuts as well as Burger Chef and always came home with funny stories about things that were going on at work and just living her life and looking forward to turning 18. Jane's classmates say they've also never forgotten her. Always made cracks and jokes, always full of life. Let's put it that way. Even if she was in a bad mood, you could see Jane walking down the hall. There she was great big smile. Teresa was 12 years old when the murders happened. She says after all this time, the tragedy doesn't feel like yesterday anymore, but it still doesn't feel real. That's not something that happens in normal families. You know, it only happens to other families, not your own. Teresa's feelings about the building itself are complicated. I never believed the building itself was evil. I believe it was just a place of business and that was where that they were taken from. But both family and friends of Ruth and Jane agree they're ready to see the building replaced with something else. I'm very thankful that the, that the building is going to be removed because I feel that it has affected the entire community. Well, every time you go by, you think of Jane. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. Yeah, it should have came down a long time. It should have came down immediately. Four people lost their lives there. Yeah. But Teresa says even if the building goes away, the memories will always be there. I feel that it has affected the entire community and will bring a little bit of peace. But even with that, there's always going to be, you're always going to know that this is where it was. That's never going to go away. Our team reached out to the owner of the building to learn more about the future plans of the site, and we're still waiting to hear back. In Speedway, Logan Gate, 13 News.